Hey guys, so this is a tour of my four bedroom property in Manchester. Let me show you in. So, as you come in, this is the living room. This living room is my absolute favorite in the whole of Manchester. I've got two properties here. This one's probably my best. We refurb the entire property and I'll include photos of the before here. So this is a before. All the walls were damaged. We had the landlord's furniture in here. They were cream, magnolia. It was a student property before, which is a four bedroom. Now it's a service accommodation Airbnb property. So we've wallpapered all this wall to make it the feature, feature wall. TV on the on the wall, which is a 50 inch, and then added some loads of ornaments just to give you that jazz of wow factor, which looked amazing. Funny enough, this I got from Marketplace, and I actually thought this was massive, but when I got there to pick it up, it was tiny. And I generally thought the statue was gonna be like massive, so I was like, yes. And I got there, and I was like, oh, I can't go back now empty handed, I just drove 20 minutes. So I bought that for 80 quid, so that is, and this is actually heavy, you know. Wait, let me show you. The sofa we bought brand new because it's such a large property and it houses a lot of people because there's so many beds which i'll show you we bought we tried to get the longest corner sofa we could so we spent 560 on this from facebook marketplace and it's a really good quality sofa like it's really comfy and the sponge is very good this table was one that i had from my storage unit again i had a lot of properties that i gave back in the past so we basically recycled most of the stuff that we could uh all the prints i got from my previous properties and same with them over there so we reuse as much as much as we could Good, but we did spend this property in total cost around I think six to seven thousand pounds to set up including all the furniture and all the kit all the paint all the ceiling stuff all the light fixtures as well everything we changed so all these weren't here when we took it on this is the hallway so we basically repainted the entire hallway and we panelled here which looks amazing this is the kitchen um, fun fact there was a fridge there and like a really tiny crappy student table here so we changed it to this longer rectangle one to obviously seat more people. The kitchen is basically standard. We didn't do much to it. There's no point because it does the job and it works totally fine. We did however replace the fridge and buy our own because the one in there didn't work. So that's there. There is a downstairs wash uh, toilet, which is there. And this is the amazing staircase up. So here I put all the prints that I basically had in storage here. So bam, 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 all the way to the top. I think it looks cool. And then this is the um, deluxe mirror in the hallway. So this is bedroom one, which I'll show you. Uh, you got a bathroom there. The only thing we did to the bathroom was just install that glass panel. And that was it. Everything else is left standard. Oh, and we did add a new floor in because there was carpet in the bathroom, which I find weird. Why is there carpet in the bathroom? I don't know why, but there's carpet in the bathroom. It's strange, but it's there. This is bedroom one. We actually uh, went all out with this property because we wanted to wanted it to be the first wow factor in Manchester. We wallpapered the entire wall here. The good thing is this wallpaper has not been damaged yet. So we've had this property for like seven, eight months now. T to be honest, this property has no damage anywhere at all which is really really good everything works so the tv on every single wall in every single bedroom it's got netflix on it um, let me show you the bedroom too every room had its own theme so this was like a pink and a green so we got gold light fixtures there we've got nice prints i think the prints complement the room quite well this one's got a julia balcony which is also amazing we paneled the room halfway here and then wallpaper the rest i think this style looks basically amazing and it worked well actually and we do have a little small work desk here which i think adds to the room so we can try and target workers and contractors if they want to stay in a pink room which is highly unlikely but you know it works this is bedroom three as you can see you have a nice single bed and a tv on the wall there's no space for any storage unit so we just have a little bedside table desk but this room looks good finally let me show you bedroom four which is the last room which is the biggest and my most favorite so that's on the top floor and again the prints follow all the way across to the top there used to be like a little desk here but we've, we've changed it for some areas and clothing dryers and hangers and stuff so this is bedroom four this is my most favorite you literally have two double beds um, and a tv on the wall which is here you've got a chest of drawers work desk massive wardrobe and ensuite there and these prints are my most favorite you literally have like some really cool jazzy prints like Fozzie's power um, that purple chair bosh and again the gold the gold light fixtures this is the first room that we actually thought why not paint the ceiling and it all started from this property 
As soon as we did, we did it in this one and we just started to get loads of bookings. I was like, what? So then I started to paint the ceilings in all the other properties, so yeah. And the good thing with this one is that the blinds go up and down with a click of a button, which is amazing. <laughs> this concludes the tour of this property. Let me know what you think. And if you want to see more tours, I've got so many more coming yet to YouTube. And guys, if you do want to start an Airbnb business, send me a message. I'd be more than willing to help you on Instagram.